Hey everybody, and welcome back to LifeShare University of Healing. Today I want to just talk a little bit about some of the questions and comments that I'm getting um, on, on the Angels videos. I'm getting a lot of comments that about praying to Jesus and praying to angels. So I want to go over that a little bit. First, I want to say that I'm not saying that we worship angels or we are praying, so to speak, to angels. What angels are are messengers for God and from God or Jesus or your creator, you know, whomever you um, refer to your creator as. And I want to just go over a few of the things and, and even some Bible verses that mention angels and how angels can really help us because like I said and I'm like I say in uh, some of my posts as well is that angels are like the managers and the creator is the CEO so just like a manager would report to a CEO that's what the angels are to God or your creator okay so let me start out by saying what the word angel actually means. It actually comes from the Greek word angelos, which means messenger, okay? And this is where I say that, that angels are God's messengers. Um, angel usually describes a whole range of spirits whom God has created, including both good and evil angels and special categories such as cherubim, seraphim, and the archangels, for example. Angels are mentioned at least 108 times in the Old Testament and 165 times in the New Testament. So there is a lot of information available in scripture that allows us to build a foundation for our knowledge of angelic beings. Angels are essentially ministering spirits, such as in Hebrews 1.14. They don't have physical bodies like humans. And Jesus declared that a spirit hath not flesh and bones, as ye see me have. Luke 24.37-39. So angels are an entirely different order of beings than human. Human beings do not become angels after they die. Angels will never become and never were human. God created the angels just as he created humanity. So basically what it is is that God chooses angels to take his messages to people, to humans. Angels even announced that Jesus was be, going to be born at his birth and to tell other people that he had come back to life, to tell his disciples and his friends. So God uses his angels in a lot of different ways, even telling Mary that she would have a very special child, you know? I mean, most of the time they're, they were referred to as, as archangels, but... In many other places in the Bible, angels are used to help God tell his message or his messages. Angels are used to help bring Jesus followers to people who don't know about Jesus. Okay, so angels help to bring us humans to God. They make us believers. They give us faith. This is why I'm saying it's like they're the managers to the CEO. The CEO, Jesus, or God, or the creator, okay, tell his managers how to operate his business. And I'm using metaphors here, okay, and his creation, so to speak. So think of us as his creation, the angels as his creation, He's directing the angels to help us and 
make us believe and bring belief to us and send us signs to help us believe, to give us faith, you know? And that's what it's all about. So I wanted to make that clear that, yes, angels are in the Bible, in Scripture. Yes, it's okay to speak to the angels because you're speaking to God because angels were created for God and to serve God. So it is okay to speak to the angels. It's not, I'm not saying that there's any worshiping or anything like that going on to the angels. And I and I, if I did say that, which I don't think I did, but if I ever did say something about worshiping angels in any of my videos, I apologize because that's not what I meant. And again, I don't think I said that because that's not what I believe. So I don't feel that I would say something that I don't believe in any of my videos but I again I just wanted to say that you know just get that out there because I know I've, I've been getting a lot of comments and questions about that and I just wanted to clear that up with everyone and just you know let you know where where I'm coming from so I hope you enjoyed this video I'm not going to make it too long because it's kind of repeating a lot of the stuff I've already talked about in my other videos so um, again, just wanted to respond to some of my comments and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos and don't forget to give this video a like and if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. Got lots of good videos coming. Talk to you soon. Namaste. Watching my videos and don't forget to give this video a like and if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. Got lots of good videos coming. Talk to you soon. Namaste.